G'day Playmates and uh, welcome uh, to another Harmavid uh, and this is chapter 4 of John Company and we're going to look at how the uh, offices of the presidencies of the three areas uh, of India that we're present in how they work. Uh, first of all we're going to go along the ribbon uh, to the presidency of Bombay then to Madras then to Bengal. Uh, okay, and it so just so happens that uh, the presidency of Bombay is in fact in my family. What does he do? Well, his main thing is to earn money by making trade actions. And as you can see, um, you can make a, a number of trade actions, uh, but as soon as you make a successful trade action, that's the one that you have to use and I'll explain that a little bit further you can see on the bottom uh, sentence there it says after a sex success you may not trade again this turn and uh, as per usual with this game we're using a dice pool we're paying a pound for each dice and we're hoping to roll the lowest number being a one or a two which is a success a three or a four um, being the lowest number out of the dice rolls uh, is a um, failure but you can try again and a five and a six is an absolute catastrophe and uh, you will I will <laughs> get removed from the presidency of Bombay f for being an idiot uh, okay so uh, the other thing that these guys also do is I'll, I'll touch upon that the presidency of Bombay uh, can liaise with the uh, army, uh, the, the commander of the army of Bombay to do military actions within Bombay. Uh, we're not able to do that and I'm only going to briefly look at this because uh, what can actually happen is uh, at the moment Bombay is sovereign. Uh, we could um, take the sovereignty, uh, sovereignty away by deploying the army uh, into Bombay and uh, uh, opening up a governorship uh, and also looting uh, the area as well so there's uh, money to be made uh, the first time that uh, you're able to uh, take over uh, a, a province but that's for another time uh, because the uh, the chances are uh, we're not going to be able to do it and even if we do the, the chances are uh, there may be a rebellion and there's some uh, there are bad consequences for that so it it mirrors it mirrors uh, historical life okay so uh, generally what you do as the president of Bombay the first thing you, you do is uh, if there's a governor there you let the governor do his thing uh, there isn't a governor at the moment because we haven't released the military into Bombay. The second thing is it's a good idea then uh, to uh, liaise uh, with the army. Uh, it is possible to send uh, the army in and also uh, to uh, um, to do a couple of things. First of all open up uh, the region for orders uh, and secondly if there's uh, as I say a rebellion uh, in there to quell uh, the rebellion but anyway uh, that's the um, yep that's about the best, best I can do at the moment so okay how do we trade we have a potential to trade as from our uh, open port uh, along a trade route as many links as we possibly can before uh, meeting up with a closed area so uh, we could trade uh, in the north we could also trade in the south uh, with uh, Mysore that's that's the that's the that's the idea be between trading uh, for instance here uh, in Madras which we'll will will get to there's only one open order uh, so you know we're not going to be earning much there here we've got a potential uh, to earn three four seven seven uh, ten sixteen uh, before these areas become closed so there's quite a lot of uh, money to be made in Bombay and Mysore but here's the caveat the other thing is you can only have 
as many trade centers to trade with as you have ships in that particular ocean. We have got three ships in the West Indian Ocean to service Bombay. So we have to first of all service the area of Bombay first so we use two ships to, to trade there and then we can use the third ship to trade over the border into Mysore. If we had a fourth ship like that we could trade there and there and there and there but we don't we've only got three okay we're going to look at our uh, bank account and uh, we got seven pounds uh, if we look here then if we roll uh, five dice or six dice uh, we're going to get very good odds but here's the thing every time that you trade over a border out of your home area you get you have to remove one dice from your dice pool so if I rolled four dice to trade in Bombay and Mysore because I'm trading over the border I'd have to remove one dice I'd be rolling three dice so I think what I'll do under the circumstances is uh, I will roll five dice so that'll be one two three four five that'll be five pounds that's gonna get me five dice however what I want to do is I want to trade in Bombay and Mysore so the five dice because I'm trading over the border will be reduced to four okay so here are my four dice let's roll them yeah okay absolutely blitzed it in okay so what do we do well we move all the writers out of Bombay uh, they could be any amount of writers um, and we move the first one uh, to the uh, the major port there and we earn four pounds okay that's that ship done what about the other two ships well all we simply do is we use we use these guys uh, we use surrogate writers uh, so that's another three pounds and that's another three pounds so we made another six there six and four is ten we have made the company ten pounds on top of that for the graft as the president I will get one pound for each order filled one two three pounds one two three pounds into the coffers and each writer will earn a pound well these guys are surrogate writers but I do have my family member there so that writer is going to earn a pound in graft so not a bad little earner okay and that's essentially it for the presidencies um, so we're now going to move on to uh, the presidency of Madras which also is uh, appears to be me as well there we go there's the presidency of Madras and we have got one open order and we have got one ship we're only going to make five pounds and so I think what I'll do is I'll roll three dice um, Shall I roll three or shall I roll four? Seventy percent. Yeah, look, I'm going to roll three. So, uh, one, two, three. Take one dice away. Uh, and that was a failure because three is the lowest number uh, that I've rolled which is a failure but I have still got money in the coffers so I'm gonna spend all four I'm gonna try and make sure this time yep and we only just did it by rolling one two 
Okay, so we place a writer into there and earn five pounds for the company and I take a pound for the one order and the AI takes a pound for, an, uh, for their order. All right. Uh, and then we move on to the uh, presidency of Bengal. This is owned by the AI, so we'll need to see uh, what the AI is going to be doing. Uh, but uh, there's only a potential uh, for one one order because there's only one ship in the East Indian Ocean. Okay, so let's have a look. And uh, so we go through the manager of shipping military affairs we've done so now uh, we go to the presidency's op operations now if the crown um, if the crown is president the uh, the crown presidents make governors act first in order of formation then the commander and then they'll attempt trade okay we don't have any governors because the military hasn't been sent out to take the area. Uh, there's no point in letting the commanders do their thing uh, because the army's not strong enough. Uh, so um, let's have a look here. So we need to find out if the, uh, because uh, there's no crown governor, uh, we need to look at um, what the commander is going to be up to. So okay here we go um, if the crown is a commander the crown presidents will always give consent to purchasing local uh, alliances uh, to crown commanders okay what are local alliances local alliances are these things here where are we we're in Bengal are we so for four four pounds you could buy two dice rolls uh, okay for two pounds you could buy an extra dice roll uh, so for uh, five uh, for five six pounds you could get three dice rolls so uh, yeah these are the uh, these are the locals uh, that are friendly to the British that will help them in a scrape uh, okay and also we've got to check um, we've got to check where we are uh, with the crown we're in the uh, we're in the bull area okay so let's have a look so if we look under the bull uh, sign uh, they will not uh, the uh, uh, the commander will not purchase local alliances so that makes it nice and easy um, uh, because uh, uh, that's going to take uh, money away uh, from the uh, the money that's allocated to the uh, presidents of Bengal so let's move onwards and we'll see whether uh, the crown will attempt to take a deploy action that is uh, sending out the troops uh, to to take an area uh, a home area so uh, looking at uh, the uh, uh, the bull under the uh, under the uh, far left the Crown will attempt to take a deploy action in a presidency's home region with closed order, closed orders. It's a home region with closed orders, so yes, they will at attempt to do that. Um, uh, otherwise, uh, then a company-controlled region associated with this presidency with closed or uh, orders and so on and so forth. But I'm, I'm not going to go through it all. So yes, um, they will attempt to deploy so now we move into the middle of the page the crown commander will uh, uh, exhaust all available local alliances first then crown officers then player officers and then regiments in order to match the exact number of dice listed below they will only deploy if they can roll the required number of dice given by this table well, it's a non-company controlled region. They'd only be prepared to de deploy if they can use six dice. And at the moment, all they've got is one dice 
for that particular um, that particular battalion. Uh, if, say, for instance, uh, they had uh, that there, and also they had an officer, then uh, they get one dice for that, two dice for that, the third dice for that, uh, and y y yeah, you can see that they're beginning to build up a fair bit of strength, but we have no officers uh, in here at the moment, so uh, the army is not going to deploy. A bit long-winded, but anyway, uh, at least it does explain it. So, let's have a look uh, here now. So, if the Crown is president, they will spend the necessary funds to roll the required number of dice to trade by given by this table. So uh, they will only the crown will only spend two dice, uh, which is not great odds. So I think what I'm going to have to do is um, I'm going to have to add a um, uh, a cube, a red cube, uh, to increase that uh, to three. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to I'm going to give one of my promises there, and they're going to roll three dice. One, two, three. Uh, because there's only one order available anyway. All right. So here we go. Fingers crossed. Yep, and they've done it. So, uh, as per, as per, whoops, uh, yep, okay, so as per usual, um, one writer goes into there, we get six pounds, and the uh, president skims a pound for himself and the writer, so another two pounds. And basically, that's it. That's how the presidencies work. Uh, so on the next chapter, we're going to move uh, from there. Uh, we're going to ignore China. Uh, before, because China has not been opened as a trade route. So we're going to have a look at uh, bonuses, revenue, uh, and maybe events in India. But I'll leave that for the next one. Okay, thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next one.